apple. A uh, number only divisible by one at itself. Prime. Uh, Hobnobs and custard creams are brands of what food? Biscuit. On which date is Hugmanay? 31st of December. What is a region in which country? India. What is the first name of Theresa May's husband? Uh, Alan. What leaf is found on the Canadian flag? Maple. Maple. Zac Efron first found fame in which 2006 Disney film series? Oh my god. Um, oh, pass. In what year did Michael Jackson die? 2005. 2000 and... No, 8, 8, 8. Six. What is the name given to a number only divisible by one and itself? Prime. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> is that F1 for a musical film in which Disney film series? High School Musical. Yeah, right on the bus, sir. Oh, oh Lindsay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Right, you stay there for a minute and we'll go through all the answers in just a second. <laughs> this is fourth one. Here's Justin Bieber and Sorry. If anyone wants to hear what Gaelic sounds like, by the way, here's BBC Gaelic. I'm going to do is the speaker of Alex, he's done, well, two of them done, yes. Jacob's going to go and play for the bishop, 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 Right, this little bit is as good a place as any. Uh, the cows are over there, and that's sort of the area I wanted to go to. I'm going to stay away from sort of about two or three metres back from the railway because they would have dumped and brought up all sorts of rubbish making that. So I'm going to head to that tree line and work my way back sort of thing and do this little pasture which I'm sure I did a little bit of in my first video but that's how I'm going to start if there's not much there I'll jump over that f fence and uh, <laughs> jump over I'll crawl under it and do the other bit the cows float about all day they all they move, they'll be there just now and then later on they'll be over there so no problems and I just hope you can hear me look at this it's definitely going to rain which is fine, because then I can go and detect in the woods. Hey! Everybody on the train's looking at me! <laughs> well, I did say I'd film the first signal. That to me just looks like a block of granite or something, but I'm guessing it's a piece of a battery. Or maybe a really old gaming piece, but nah, I think a piece of a battery or something fairly modern. Right, I am really, really excited at this. I've found God knows how many lead tokens in fields all over the place, and not once have I found one with words on it. I'm really going to try and let you see... Oh, how am I going to do this? Right, there you go. The top says, it looks to me to say Wyora or Wyor. The bottom looks like a V. And on the other side it says male. See there? See that? Male. had it for a second that is fantastic I wonder what that's for it looks to have some holes there male Wyora wow well that's exciting that's, a f that's a f the first time I've ever seen one with an inscription on it that's a good find 
yeah, dead happy with that. I need to get home and find out what that is. Excellent, you just never know. You never know. <laughs> Right, to me that just looked like a rock until I turned it over and it's got this thing in it. I wonder what earth, what on earth that could be. The inside just looks rockish as well, but... Wow, that's, that's interesting. God, what is that? Oh well, somebody somebody might know, hopefully. Right, tell me that isn't a piece of a, a weapon. I mean, come on, look at it. That's got to be a spear. I mean, let's ignore the three holes there that look like they attach to something and turn it into some piece of machinery. Let's ignore that and just focus on that. Look at that. It looks like a, it looks like a sting there or something. Wow, what a piece of a piece of metal. Interesting stuff. Not a clue. But we'd love to know. Look what I just found. I just pulled it out of this hole. I've got no idea what that is. If it's a badge or a stamp. I can't make out anything on it yet, but there's a lot of mud on it. So what I'm going to do, go, going to clean it, show you what it is, and uh, you're going to watch this video that I made yesterday, but will be put up today, and you're just going to listen to a guy complain and complain and complain. Well, I take it back. Garrett, you're not that bad when you're full of battery. Oh, fantastic. Right, I'm going to splash some water on this. I'll be back in a sec. Right, not much came up, I'm afraid. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom. Can you see the E there? Basically, I think it says England on the bottom and some, some other word. But on the front, I can't make out anything. There's nothing there to be made out. Oh, what a shame. I bet that was a beautiful... Mil I'm, I'm going to guess that's some sort of military badge. I'm going to guess there was military sort of movement here at some point. Does that say York, England? Definitely, there's definitely England there, whether you can see it or not is another thing altogether, but wow, what a find, happy with that. Not bad. Can of energy drink. Great fun digging that up. Wow, well that took a long time to get out. I'm guessing that is a really, really old clasp. Yeah, I think it's a clasp or something. The other side is the same. Wow, I wonder how, how old that is. It's tiny. Wow, interesting. I think that's quite old. Slightly, the camera might not pick the green, green tinge up, but yeah, it's green. That's, that's quite an old nice little thing yeah nice I'll take that took blooming ages though I can't believe this all my life I've dug up pieces of lead that are blank and now I've got two pieces that are actually inscribed now I don't know if that oh. I don't know if that's an I and an N, or three scratches. I don't know if that's a 
two scratches, or is that maybe an E? Wow, honestly, I, I can't wait to find out what these are because I've. Oh. What a pathetic little train that is. So, anyway, aye, what a find. I'm delighted. The first pieces of lead, other than musket balls and mini balls, that I can say with, that I can say are of any use. Uh, and I had a question, just out of interest. How many people with the garret, any sort of garret, how often, roughly, does your uh, does your object come out in the plug? Because for me, I would say it's between ten and fifteen percent. The rest of the time, I have to take the plug out and the object's still in the ground. So it would just be nice to to know that. Wow, fantastic. Right, I've had such interesting finds today that I'm going to film this live just because I'm a bit optimistic. Right, let me zoom in. Oh, oh man, it's just a screw, I was thinking maybe that would be another <laughs> another one of those lead pieces, I had a thought by the way, I wonder if they were like Roman game pieces or something, I'm not sure they would be that old though, anyway, a, a screw, this sounds quite pop. Where is it? Sorry, I meant to say I'll pause that and come back to you. False alarm, just a, just the end of a screw. <laughs> Might be wrong, but this to me looks like the the heel of an old shoe, an old boot. See the iron heel and then there's still bits of rubber there. So that's my the, that's my guess, but I could be wrong. Size of this mushroom. It's bigger than my hand. Is that edible? Could be feed a family of five for God's sake. I don't know what kind that is, unfortunately, but if I knew, I would be taking that home and eating it. Wow. You know those gates that are now way over there? And I said, I'm sure we're connected to a path that came all the way down here. I bet that path came round that corner and over this old bridge. Look at that. How nice is that? That is an old though, that's 300 years old at least. I bet that's where that path went. Wow, cool stuff. Right, the cows decided to go for a drink of water and then go back into that pasture, so I'm going to do this again, which is, isn't a bad thing, it means I can do it, make sure it's completely done, but I cannot wait to get something like the XPDS, or, or anything else, because if you look at, what was it, Essex History Hunter, he upgraded, upgraded to the XPDS, and went back over all his old spots, and found stuff that he'd never have, that he'd missed, having gone over them dozens of times, it was amazing. Uh, I recommend you check out his channel, it's great anyway, but I, I suggest you find that series of videos where he gets the XPDS and goes back. It's Essex History Hunter, I think his name's Rob, so I highly recommend that because that's what I want to do. I want to get something like an XPDS, come back here and dig up 
gold and hammered and all the stuff that I've not got yet. Anyway, uh, after my sandwich, I'm just going to finish this little pasture here. Come on cows, they keep moving that way and then stopping. By the way, apologies, it's Rob and his wife, not just Rob. <coughs> I'm sure Rob would be nothing without his wife. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, it's Rob and his wife. There we go. Just thought I'd uh, pop that in quickly before there was a domestic. <laughs> That's got a bit of age to it. Maybe a a wagon wheel nut or something. Who knows, but that's an old it's old, whatever it is, put it that way. Unfortunately worthless, but old. Right, this is getting filmed because this is a first signal on the second field. That's actually sounding good. Oh, yes. Mind you, saying that, it's only two inches deep, which means it's likely modern rubbish. So, that's not so good. I don't know what it is about this top field. This is where the good stuff should be. It all seems to be down there, but I don't know. Who, who knows? Anyway, I'll dig this up and see what sort of modern trash this is. Knew it. Just an old can. The one thing that surprised me so far is I haven't found a single musket ball in this entire area, which is surprising considering all the woodland around here. That is weird. But I found plenty of these things. Right, that is me calling it a day. I think I've been here for about six hours. This, uh, this Roman sort of spear is probably the best find of the day. Aye, definitely a Roman spear. That's the best find of the day. The other things such as the, the lead tags, I'll take pictures of them and try and add them as long as Windows Movie Maker doesn't have a fit. And uh, some other good finds as well. So uh, look forward to the video. Um, I'm gonna, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna put up the video that still needs to go up, which is possibly the most negative video I've made yet. Which will be funny because it'll be followed by quite a good video. So, uh, it's, so the, there you go. Thanks for watching. I'm absolutely shattered now. I'm going home.